I can give you two reasons to smash that like button and to watch this video till the end. The number one, I spent $10 in this Facebook ad campaign where I'm promoting a Clickbank offer to show you how to read the Facebook ad data or the Facebook ad matrix, which you can also call a key performing indicators. And the number two reason you're going to see all these things guys only in the paid courses. Right? In the paid courses, they will show you how to read the Facebook ad campaigns as well as their case studies. But we have created the case study guys because in my last video, I showed you how to set up a Facebook ad step by step promoting a Clickbank offer. So if you're promoting an affiliate product guys, this is the video you have to watch till the end because here I'm going to show you how to read this matrix, right? how to analyze a Facebook ad campaign step by step because while running this campaign i got so many poor performing indicators as well as best performing indicators which can help you to make your facebook ad campaign performing well okay or to get more conversion that's the goal of any affiliate marketer so smash that like button guys and if you're first time watching watch few of my videos and if this is helping you to make money online then do subscribe my channel with that said, let's start. So this was the campaign guys, which we ran promoting a Clickbank offer, which called like soul manifestation. And this was a CBO campaign guys. I got a question in my last video. So what is a CBO and the campaign budget optimization guys? The simple thing is guys, whatever your budget you will set up under the campaign budget optimization, Facebook automatically going to spend your ad uh, money in the best performing ad set as well as in the ad level guys for example guys you in this campaign we have two ad set under this ad we have three different ad levels so let's say if this ad set 2 is performing well over ad set 1 and under this guys at ad level 3 is performing very very well that means this is getting a lot of conversion and more uh, link clicks or a lot of conversion guys facebook cbo campaign will spend the money on this only guys over this one which is performing very poor but but in a daily budget guys facebook is going to spend the your ad money entirely in the all the ad set as well as in the ad level that means guys that will lead you a lot of cost per click for example if this is performing very well very very well the cost per click will be very less but in this the cost per click will be very more okay but facebook in daily budget option guys they will spend the money in this also you will spend a lot of ad spend guys there okay that is the reason campaign budget optimization is uh, best okay they will automatically going to select which is performing very very well and they will invest on that them only so that you can get a lot of impression and the conversion so hope this campaign budget optimization doubt it's clear now being an affiliate marketer there are few key performing the indicators guys which is very important in this campaign if you remember we set up the campaign in a landing page view not in the link clicks so that means guys this link click over is not important for us especially for this com campaign so we don't need this as well as guys i want to bring all this uh, facebook ad matrix a little bit closer like we don't want this schedule right ins all these things guys we can remove this one like last uh, significant edits right budget as well as guys bidding strategy but how are you going to do this right how are you going to manage this for this guys click here and here you can see customize columns okay and under this guys what are whatever the things which is important for you you just tick that one and you can untick rest of this okay you can remove you can tick if you want the clicks if you uh, select this one it will show there okay or if you don't want you can remove from here so some of the things which we don't want is guys like this uh, link click because this campaign is all about landing page view so we don't want to read right how much link click we got okay so like this we can remove those things which we don't want okay last like the last significant edit the budget and bidding strategy which we already know okay so with that you can apply and now you can see the only those things which is only important for a affiliate marketer okay so now guys so whenever you run any cbo campaign allow your campaign to run at least two to three days guys so that you can have this proper metrics okay all this data is really really important there are two important thing in a cbo campaign guys your ad budget right whatever the ad budget you're setting up make sure it should be something between like 20 dollar 30 dollar because look at this ad set we have a two ad set and under this ad set guys we have multiple ad levels so your ad budget should be at least right minimum like 20 dollar 
dollar, thirty dollars, or sometimes guys I keep like fifty dollar also. Okay, or else guys you can use another strategy. You can start with ten dollar and read the campaign for one to two days, and then you can make the changes. That's also in strategy which you can use. That's up to you guys. Every marketer use some different strategy. All are right. So now let's read the Facebook ads data. So here you can see these guys in this two ad set. One ad set performed very very well, bought seventy four unique link click, and another has got, bought only three link click, right? So what is a unique link click? So unique link click means guys one individual, right? One person when they made a click that is that will be considered as a right unique link click. Maybe that one individual has made so many different click, right? Maybe two time, maybe three times, but that will be considered as only only one click from that person. Okay, so my landing page has got or the my link has got seventy four unique link click, but guys, on among seventy four guys, only sixty four people have seen my landing page. Okay, this landing page. Only sixty four has ar arrived in this landing page, but here you are seeing very good, uh, right? Indicators or the number that is seventy four and sixty four, which is very good. It's fine, okay. If there is a huge different, like the unique link click is seventy four, and your landing page view is thirty, that means guys, there is some problem with your landing page loading time, okay? This loading time. So consider that. But right now it's fine. So now guys, let's. Consider sixty four because finally at the end only sixty four people has seen my landing page. Okay, now guys for each views in my landing page thirteen cent. Okay, so thirteen cent into sixty four view. So sixty four into thirteen cent and that is almost ten dollar guys, close to ten dollars. And if you can see this will be your ad budget. Let me show you here. Look at look at this. Right, this is the close to ten dollars here. Okay, so this is how you can uh, right uh, calculate the landing page view and how much they charge and your ad spend. And here you can see this guy's unique three link link click has happened, but only two people has seen the landing page. And for these guys, each they have charge almost right seventeen to eighteen cent. Okay, and you can multiply this two, and you can see the amount over here. Okay, this is how you can calculate between unique link. It's a one individual who made the link click, but only sixty four has seen your landing page, and for each they are charging right almost thirteen cent. And when you multiply both, you will get your amount spent. Okay, and what is frequency, guys? Frequency is the number of time. Your ad has seen to one individual. Okay, so this is showing one point zero four, which is fine. After frequency, guys, the another important thing is, guys, your quality ranking, engagement ranking, and conversion ranking. Okay, which you can only see on the basis of ad level, guys. You can't see on the basis of ad set. So if you open one of these, guys, here you can see this two of my ad is not worked properly, but you can see this ad level has worked amazing. And here you can see the quality ranking above average. Right and engagement ranking is above average. They have something like above average, average, and below average. Okay, so if you can see this performed really, really well the ad level. So conversion rank ranking, guys, it's depend upon the conversion of right sales conversion. Your objective was to get the sales conversion. If you're getting the conversion, guys, you're gonna see this average and below average or above average, average kind of like this. Okay, engagement ranking, guys, if your ad is getting the uh, like like Comment like this, guys. If you can see, uh, this is the ad copy got eleven like, one comment, one share. Okay, so this is uh, shows the relevancy scores. Okay, which is showing above average. If they are going to write dislike and if there is a bad comment, right, guys, poor comments, you're gonna see like average and below average. And quality ranking, ranking, guys. There are many factor for this. One of the key factor is, guys, definitely engagement. This engagement and your landing page. Okay. As well as guys, the sales page. Okay, this is your landing page and this is your sales page. Whatever you are promoting through landing page, your sales page should have the same thing. Okay, it should not be different. There should be relevancy on the offer as well as right, as well as also guys, the loading time of your landing page. Okay, it should be very fast as well as your sales page also. Okay, that all comes over here. Okay, which is good. That's why it's showing above average. Okay, now another very important thing, guys. Most of the time, guys, if you're a or affiliate marketing beginner, you'll get confused with this matrix versus this matrix. 
so my uh, right recommendation for you is right everything is here for you okay there is nothing uh, which is very important over here guys except this impression guys okay because here you can know see the impression okay let me close this here you can see uh, how much impression you got on each of this ad set as well as in the ad level okay hope you are learning a lot from this video guys so smash that like button and if you are new subscriber guys subscribe my channel for more trainings video like this tutorial like this guys so now guys the confusion for a new marketer is what is cost per result and what is cost per landing page view so what is important for affiliate marketer for you guys the most important thing is cost per landing page not the cost per result because cost per result is this uh, right average of your ad level conversion right budget right so here you can see the ad set one ad set three and two two is not performing one and three is performing here and you can here you can see they will show you the the smaller one or the average one okay here let me show you in another campaign this is another campaign guys of another product and if i open this it is showing you right uh, cost per result is an average of all other results guys look at this it's a smaller one what is the smaller one this is converting in 16 12 but and one is converting in 13 so they will take as a 13 as this to show you to get some idea that what is the cost per result you are getting in landing page okay but the real thing which you have to see to analyze is guys your cost per landing page oh, okay over the landing page view now the very important thing how to reduce the cpc here i'm going to show you guys right one of the strategy to reduce right your cost per click okay to reduce the cost per click guys you need one more right facebook ad matrix which i have not added so let's add the click through rate okay which is the really important thing so if you go down here guys you'll get the click through rates okay this is like uh, link click through rates it's really important here click this one and apply so now what is ctr guys here here you have to remember one of the very important formula to reduce your cost per click that is guys more your ctr is like that is link click through rate less your cost per landing page view will be the. so here you can see this guys 4.67 is the ctr that means it, it is more than the right uh, uh, the ad set 2 that is the reason my cost per landing page is very very less as compared to the ad set 2 and the ctr is very very less here guys and that is the reason guys my cost per landing page is view okay let me show you one of my another campaign another product campaign right look at my cost per landing page it is really really cheap guys it is somewhere between five cent six cent seven cent okay why this is right because my ctr is very very high now the question is right how to have this kind of ctr and that is guys there are many reasons for this but one of the biggest reason is your ad images okay whenever you use the ad image guys make sure your ad image have the two important thing the number one is the ad image should be relevant to the offer okay as well as the number two is guys your ad image should grab the attention of the pupil go to fiverr and type in the fiverr guys facebook ad image and get into this right this kinds of people who create a facebook ad image for you right for example this one guys look at this this kinds of image convert very very well guys and that is the reason guys i use this kinds of image a lot and my cpc is very very less over here okay so this is one of the important takeaways invest on your images instead of getting the stock image or the google image guys fiverr is a good place or if you know how to create it from an adobe shop you can create from there also always use a good image which should uh, grab attention which should have engagement comments and like and share if your image is not good guys you're gonna get this kinds of message let me show you here look at this the ad set have the low quality low quality have a lot of meaning relevancy of your landing page one of the biggest reason is your image or the video which you're using right to grab the attention if it is not good guys if it is, doesn't have a quality it will show you low quality okay and again and again if you get this kinds of message in your the url then that facebook is going to disable your the next ad now whenever you analyze facebook ad campaign always make sure you are analyzing the facebook ad campaign from the ad level not from the ad set level okay ad set level will give you average for example here in the ad set ad level 3 you got 71 clicks okay and one is three and two is zero but it is showing you the 74 here in the ad set level you can't analyze but just seeing here okay this is just an average so open your ad set and analyze from the ad level now analyzing here guys you can see 
the three is performing very very well and one is not performing and the cost per conversion is little bit is high and the two is uh, not performing at all so what i can do here i can pause this one here you can see i'm not getting any impression at all okay that means there is a problem in the image okay this is the way you have to analyze in case there is an impression but there is uh, no link click over here that means you can literally write off this campaign and allow this two campaign to run and then day two you can analyze which is performing very very well which is giving you the the lower cpc and the higher click through rate you just allow them to run okay this is how you can analyze here okay and now the very important thing is if you got t6 landing page view how much view you got in your landing page that is really important how can you read this so whatever whatever the landing page builder you are using you can see here you have 71 click okay and here you here you have 66 landing page view okay that is uh, fine because guys the rest of that is my click only to check this landing page i open so many time before i use the landing page in facebook ad okay right you got almost 66 landing page uh, your landing page have 71 so that means guys if there is a 70 month one how much you got how much hop you got your offer here you can see the offer 45 so now what is the difference right 45 and 71 almost i think 26 or 21 26 or 21 okay so this is a huge difference guys that means you have to improvise your landing page there is something you have to make a change so that people should click okay and one important note here guys even a small changes even the changing the background can increase your conversion rate or the click rate here okay that is my experience small thing right so do not always think that this is because of a headline just this this is because of sub headline no maybe the call to action maybe the background maybe something right you have to make a change that little change you have to test again okay that is really important for me because it's a huge gap for me 21 to 25 people has not made the click here that is the reason guys i got very less hop here okay so that is if it is there guys then i will not get the conversion okay more the hops there will be a more chances of getting conversion okay so this is really key important thing so hope you got lot of points from this video guys because i have created in a depth so that any affiliate marketer if you're a beginner now watching this video again and again you can have uh, you can uh, start your campaign and you can read it so if you have any doubt in this video guys let me know in the comment i will clear your doubt there okay so hope you got a lot of values on this guys if you got the values do not forget to smash that button guys if you smash that like button that that's all that's a message to me right i provided you the value and let me know in the comment if you have anything which you want to know right you have a doubt in this video anything if i missed or you you think that right you want to uh, you're not clear let me know in the comment and do subscribe my channel thank you very much